All right, Friday, 10.30. We are going to do more front squats, okay? More front squats. But today is a six by one. So if you were here Monday, we did the five working sets of twos, increasing weight on every one of those. So today should ideally be heavier than even your final set that you did, okay? And all of these are going to be at the same weight. So as mentioned, next week we'll most likely do a one rep max, okay? And today is more or less preparation. So pick a weight you know you can do that is a challenge, but sets you up for next week, okay? Looking ahead, the difference between, let's say, like a six by one is a working weight that you can do, as I already mentioned, versus a one rep max is probably working up to a weight you know you might actually fail at okay so no, one rep max the point of those days are to find an actual peak right we're going to find what we do and potentially what we aren't able to do so that next time we attempt that maybe we do something similar to the cycle a lot of heavy lifts so that when we reattempt that three months down the road maybe we're more ready for it okay but all that said six front squats uh all at the same weight, six sets of one. Then we got a 15 minute AMRAP of 11 wall balls, 20 and 14 pounds, eight toes to bar or toes to ring, and then five box jumps at 24 and 20. Okay, so that rep sequence is going down by three reps. Now, the wall balls are going to be the bulk of this and you're gonna be doing those in subsequent rounds coming off of the box jump, okay? The goal is to do as many rounds as possible, of course, okay, because that's our score. But also, I would say try to do the wall balls in unbroken sets of 11, meaning if you're coming off the box jump and your legs are a little tired, take a second, okay? Um, what else for the wall balls? We're coming off of front squats, so hopefully the ball and you're a little warmed up. Your legs might be a little tired, but again, it's just six heavy singles, Um I think it should help you just kind of feel explosive when you're jumping and trying to throw that ball up to its target, okay? Now, here's the difference between the toes to bar and the toes to rings other than the obvious. One is on the bar, the pull-up bar, the other is on the rings. The toes to ring, as you found out last week when we did a thousand of them, is going to be more core dominant and probably lower back uh, intensive, okay? Because you're essentially hitting hyperextension and then folding back up to uh, ultimate flexion on the toes to ring. The toes to bar, you move your upper body front to back a little bit more. So this is more of a shoulder dominant movement, okay? Still core and some of those other muscles I mentioned, but it's probably gonna be more shoulder and more grip, okay? So take those things into consideration when you're deciding between the toes to bar and the toes to ring, okay? And then we got box jumps. I don't want to say this is going to be a break, but this shouldn't hold you up that much. And remember, for the jump, jump up, stand up, come back down on the same side. Okay, that'll be part, or that'll be uh, the workout for the day. Let's say it looked to probably get somewhere in the neighborhood of like seven rounds. Okay, seven rounds plus. 